I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll now discuss maximum and minimum value. The equation here is one of the most interesting questions, and I expect this to be in this year's test paper. The equation here is find maximum and minimum value of cos theta plus sine square theta. Four options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let us see how to solve such a question. Now in this particular question, we are given sine theta, sine square theta and cos theta. Now what we can do here is write all these in terms of cos, right? So we can write cos theta plus sine square theta as equal to cos theta plus one minus cos square theta. Now rearrange, take one this side. So we have minus cos square theta plus cos theta. We can take minus common. So we get cos square theta minus cos theta in the bracket. To find maximum and minimum, we'll actually follow the principles of quadratic equations. So, so let's try to make it a perfect square. How can I make it a perfect square? Well, to make this as a perfect square, coefficient of cos theta is 1. We have to add and subtract half square, right? So we can write this as cos theta plus half square minus half square, correct? So that will help us to get a perfect square, right? So now we can write this as cos theta minus half whole square. And this becomes minus 1 over 4, correct? Now, actually, we have two brackets, right? So this is your perfect square. Now, we can open the bracket. So we get 1 minus. Within the bracket, we have cos theta minus half whole square. And that becomes positive 1 over 4. Add 1 and 1 over 4. What do you get? You get 5 over 4, correct? You get 5 over 4 minus cos theta minus half whole square. Now we have an expression from where we can actually find maximum or minimum value. Well, what could be the maximum value? Let's try to figure that out. So, of course, if you deduct 0 from here, then we get maximum. So, we have a maximum value of 5 over 4. Well, some of you who will be interested in knowing for what value of theta, of course, theta should be such that cos theta is half, right? So half minus half will be zero. So in your special triangle, well, this is not a part of this, but it is of interest to understand, right? So if we have this special triangle, then cos theta is half for pi by three. So for theta equals to pi by three, cos theta equals to half, right? So that will make this zero and we'll get the maximum value. Now, when can I get the minimum value? For minimum value, we should have maximum inside, right? So, so for minimum, what should be the case? For minimum, cos theta could be minus one. So it could be five by four minus, if I take this as minus one, minus one and half, that is going to give me the minimum, right? So that will be five over four minus, this becomes three over two, and when you square it, it becomes nine over four. So that gives you a value of minus four over four or minus one. So that becomes your, well, I, so we get a minimum value of minus 1. So that matches with our option A. Perfect. So that is how we could find maximum and minimum value. Correct. So that is the strategy. You need to complete the square and get it in a form so that you can easily find maximum or minimum value for the trigonometric function. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and also watch other videos where I've taken many examples based on maximum and minimum values. I hope you enjoyed this and understood the solution. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great.
Thanks for watching and all the best.